Welcome to Emergency Insights. I'm your host, James Carter. Today, we're discussing a critical topic in post-acute coronary syndrome management, dual antiplatelet therapy, or DAPT. We all know the high stakes involved. A patient survives an ACS event, receives a stint, and now the focus shifts to preventing the next catastrophic ischemic event. Dual antiplatelet therapy, combining aspirin with a P2Y12 inhibitor, is our primary tool in this fight. This approach has been proven to reduce the risk of stent thrombosis by a significant 50%. However, the choice of P2Y12 inhibitor is not one size fits all. Ticagrelor, for instance, has demonstrated superior efficacy over clopidogrel in high-risk patients. Yet, this enhanced antithrombotic effect comes with a trade-off, a higher risk of bleeding. This underscores the need for a meticulous, individualized assessment of a patient's ischemic and bleeding risk profiles. Another crucial factor is the duration of DAPT. The standard recommendation is typically 6 to 12 months. This time frame is a delicate balance designed to minimize both the risk of stent failure and the risk of major bleeding. What's absolutely paramount for our patients to understand and for us to reinforce is the danger of premature discontinuation. Stopping DAPT too early can dramatically heighten the risk of stent thrombosis and subsequent myocardial infarction. Now let's talk about the nuances. Clopidogrel resistance is a well-documented issue linked to genetic variations in the CYP219 enzyme. While genetic testing can identify these poor metabolizers, its widespread use remains controversial. The debate centers on its clinical utility versus its cost and accessibility, especially when more potent agents like ticagrelor are available. This brings up a significant real-world challenge, cost barriers. Newer P2Y12 inhibitors, while often more effective, are also more expensive, which can create adherence issues for patients in resource-constrained settings. As healthcare providers, we must navigate these complexities, balancing clinical guidelines with the practical realities our patients face. This is where our expertise in shared decision-making becomes vital. Ensuring the chosen therapeutic strategy is both effective and sustainable for the individual patient. That's all for this episode of Emergency Insights. Stay safe, stay sharp.